Hello everyone, welcome to Suni Art. This is Suni. Today I want to show you this project, Quick Rose Painting. Okay, it's a very simple project. Uh, this one is decorative painting. The very fun part for decorative painting is that we can paint on any surface we want. Like for example, not only on the paper because I'm um, demo on this paper is around 160 gram or uh, 180 gram to 250 gram you can practice on this kind of paper but other than the paper you can paint on different different surfaces like for example i paint this one on a canvas bag okay also i painted this one few years ago on the nylon bag can be used can be washed uh, we i use all acrylic paint water-based acrylic paint this one i painted yesterday on a metal bucket I bought from IKEA can be used also okay this one I used to put the water uh, when I do painting okay uh, also you see this one is the thermos that I use uh, for daily use also can be painted on it and also can be washed can be used uh, this bag my leather bag I painted many years ago the color still very sharp still nice not faded okay uh, also this one is a wood plate I painted a few days ago for my another class so decorative painting is very fun and very interesting okay so now let us try uh, I like let me show you how to paint this rose okay for this rose I used a few brushes that I very frequent use. Um, filbert number six, angular brush, uh, filbert number two, and a liner brush. Okay, the paint that I'm using for this painting is um, I use all the Suni Art, uh, the color from Suni Art, 16 color set. I use this set of color to do all my painting. So the color needed for this project is um, yellow, white, pie green, moss green one orange and a red color okay now we start doing before this one before the the pattern uh, sorry before the painting the rose I will do some of the base color first like the bushes like the grass okay so I will take the pie, uh, moss green first use angular brush just put on the color you see the motion uh, the, the direction is like X crisscross motion Okay, just more on the center. You can randomly put some pine green, some moss green. You have to notice, do you notice my direction of my brush? Not always the same direction. Okay, that's all. Done. Then you can blow dry with the hair dryer. Because it's this one I painted on the paper, it dry very fast. So I will not blow dry. Then after that, you have to arrange your rows. I have three roses facing different place this one is facing up here here then go down if you are not sure you can sketch with a pencil three circle okay so I will do a very fast quick rose take the angular number six uh, sorry the filbert number six just base in a circle around shape for the rose just base three circle one two because this one the row strokes i already teach in the, my previous video if you want to do revision or you are not sure how to paint the rows the strokes you can refer to my other video you can click to the description section i have the link there then another rose here After that do not wash your brush just side load orange side load orange you to put the center and the bottom and the center I also side load with some of the red color I want to have some red color so wipe off the brush because it's very wet with a lot of color you see this one the base color yellow color still not dry yet I side load with the white color one side only white color facing up paint the upper petal and bottom 
very fast. Okay, a simple rose. Turn here, another petal from the center go up. So the stroke is a stroke going up, a stroke from the left, from the left to the right, and also up. It's the same as the previous one. Then the bottom here, the other uh, petal here, just a normal common stroke. Okay, then one rose. Then the other rose you see here already dry. Put back the yellow first. Then the center, put some red also some orange is up to you you want some orange or you want more orange or you want more red is up to you wipe off your brush side load side load like this look here side load only the white color then we paint the top okay very quick very casual Then an uh, astro push up from here, go up. If you found that your brush with too much paint, you have to wipe off with a, a tissue or kitchen towel. More white. Then common stroke, you've noticed that the white color always facing out when you do the side battle, comma. See here, you see the white color is here at the uh, outside. Okay, done another rose. Then I do this rose, have to turn back. This rose, the uh, yellow color already dry, so have to put back the base color, yellow color. Put back the color first because we will do wet on wet, so the color will blend into another color so before it dry I side load the orange to the center and also the bottom here then I wipe off the brush again take only the one side loading take only the white color The same stroke okay then the common stroke for the side battle done okay so the side battle is just a common stroke comma comma okay so like here, the color already cannot really see. I will put back again. And the center here. If I found that not nice, I can add another petal here. Okay, done already. Now I paint the leaf. The leaf I will use pine green. Sorry, moss green. And mix with some pine green, but more moss green. Because the flower is very light color. If the, the, the leaf is too sharp, too dark is not matching. Okay, one, two, three leaf. Maybe here because here is empty, you can have leaf here. You see, my stroke is very casual. Just one, just like that. One, two. Okay, a uh, very casual common stroke. One, two, three. Okay. No need to be very pretty. No need to be very nice stroke. Okay, maybe here. Okay, before it dry, I can side load a little bit of yellow or white to have highlight. Not everyone, randomly, you can choose some of the leaf, you can have some highlight color. Okay, done. Then we paint the little flower. The little flower, I would like to use this um, marine blue. Okay, I will take some of the marine blue and get ready also your white color. 
I will change to my number two filbert. Okay, so the little flower is just like fill a uh, filler flower, just fill in the empty part. Five petal, one, two, three, four, five. You see the petal, the stroke is very simple, just like a little comma, one, two, just like that. Okay, maybe here, one more. Maybe here, a bit empty, just put in whatever place that you feel you want to put the flower, okay? Sometimes no need to be exactly five petals, sometimes only four petals or three petals. Here, a bit empty. Okay, then before it dry, please, uh, now you have to add a little bit of white color. Mix with the blue first, then put on top some of the white color. Okay, but you don't cover all your background blue color, you still can see the base blue. Okay, so some of it you can do more white, just take only the white color on. At some of the place you see you can see more clearly some of the better put only the white on top okay then the center I would like to dot with a darker yellow now I'm using the honey yellow okay if you don't have the stylus this one is called stylus if you don't have the stylus never mind you use the point the, the back of the pen the brush okay dip on the pen take here see okay then dot in the center of the flower Also, you can do like a little small flower here and there using the back of the uh, the brush here and there, like a little flower. You also can have some white color. Done. Very simple painting. You can finish complete this one in ten minutes. Okay, happy trying. Thank you for watching.